Can you see the candle ambiance? Look at this. This was like Swamp Family candle. Sent in Swamp Family mail. Maybe too far away. Too far away for ambiance, but it's there. Hey everybody, it's Bunny. Was that surprising? I'm spontaneously sitting here. I keep wanting to say post-workout. I'm about to tell you guys that story in a minute, but yes, uh, post-workout. And um, I'm having a spot of water. You guys, why do I keep, it's like I don't know whether I wanna take my sunglasses off or not. Um, I'm having a spot of water and it is, ooh, it's seven, you guys. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, daylight savings time ends after Halloween this year. Isn't that shocking? I always thought it happened like at the end of September, beginning of October, but I guess I've just been wrong. Um, I like literally cannot tell if it's too dark to be filming here. I've just really been experiencing the joys of filming in this area lately, like using the natural window light, sitting at a table. Um, but I feel like unfortunately this room is really echoey and so far I have not been able to come up with a solution, even though I got some of these things, you guys. Um, some of these things, like the foam that you're supposed to be able to shout into, but look at this. I feel like even if I'm directly resting on the foam, like it still sounds really echoey in here. I used to film at this kitchen table all the time and I don't ever remember it being this echoey, but maybe it's because I was like a lot of times filming on my iPhone. Today's hot topic, the reason really I'm sitting down to talk to you guys today is because of a plastic bag. I was like really just going on a thought tangent, which I'm sure a lot of y'all do as well. Well, actually like Dogman and I have been watching a lot of these like art commentary videos lately. It's so funny because I wouldn't really say, like, I don't know, here's how I like things. Like I love like fashion, but I feel like like compared to how other people love fashion, like I must love fashion in a casual way because like I don't like to like learn about like designers and stuff. I don't know. I feel like that sounds kind of silly, but I feel like I'm the same way with art. There's very few artists besides like Christo and Jean-Claude, um, Andy Warhol, like a couple artists that I really, really love. I really like to hear like biographies and stuff of their life. Um, but I don't know. I always like love going to museums and stuff. Like I love like looking at art, but I've never really dug deeper into like the meanings of the paintings. I don't know you guys it's the same debate honestly oh my god topic dropping topic dropping topic dropping but we had this interesting debate on my snapchat story last week where i asked if you guys like to make up meanings for songs like if you don't like to know the real meaning behind the lyrics of songs or if you like to look up the meaning and the discussion that was going on on snap was so interesting and so enlightening to me. And I just find it like so fascinating how everybody has like all these different like personalities that then like, I don't know, they really have to know the meaning of something or they don't care at all. You guys, I fully always flop into the mostly don't care at all category. That's like my approach to everything, right? Like art, music, fashion. Like I like to just come up with my own interpretation of what something means to me more than like what it actually means. Like I feel like sometimes if I look up lyrics to songs, like it doesn't ruin the song for me, but it'll just have like a totally different meaning than like what it means to me. You guys, four minutes. How am I talking about this in circles? Also, there's a man and he's washing his car. And I just saw a FedEx delivery truck and it's a Sunday? Strange. So we've gone down this very interesting rabbit hole. My favorite channel right now, which I will link you guys to in the info box, just in case you might think that you would be interested in this. Although I have to say, I feel like these videos are so interesting. Like you don't even really have to like care about art really to probably find these videos interesting. But Art Deco is my favorite channel right now. So anyway, we watched lizard or squirrel lizard okay um we watched something about vincent van gogh the other day and i bought these so long ago you guys because 
Um, Y'all may know, I mostly do this on my second channel, which is Banana Peppers or my daily Snapchat. I love to make like little ASMR unboxings. Like if I get a new random item, like, oh my God, you guys, this is what I unboxed today. It's a phone case. It's a foot, it's a phone case. It's everything you'll ever need in this life. So yeah, sometimes I like to do those like ASMR unboxing style things. And sometimes the packaging is a little bland. It's a little boring, I'm sorry. Where would the ears of a foot be? The heels? Sometimes it can be a little bit boring, the packaging. So if I'm making like those ASMR videos, like sometimes I like to spice up the packaging. And so like a couple of years ago now, I bought these, <laughs> which, are like those Tyvek envelopes, you know, but it's Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. And I started to like, did I feel weird about it? I'm not sure if like weird is the right word, but it just really got the old brain jumping around in there. Because like, I wonder, like would an artist like Vincent Van Gogh, do you think an artist like that would be mad about stuff like this? Like, is it better? I wonder to some artists to like utterly be lost to the sands of time or is it better to just have your artwork like plastered on like plastic bags? Like I kind of don't know, you know, so I just start, I, I don't know, like sometimes I just kind of like wonder like what are people doing in the afterlife, you know, like what are their thoughts and feelings about it all? So I was just kind of wondering as I was like using this envelope the other day after having watched that video. I'm like, do you think he would be mad about stuff like this? I don't know. It's just, discuss. Discuss in the comments down below while I take a sippy sippy of my water because you guys, I am parched. Ah, um, that was like less of a sippy sippy and more of a gulpy gulpy. So on to my fitness journey, which, oh my gosh, you guys, I knew that I was like really out of shape, but I did not quite know to the level of out of shapeness that I am. A couple years ago, I got this on Amazon because I saw everybody was doing the jump rope challenge. And I swear, I think you're supposed to jump rope 500 times a day, which I don't know if sometimes y'all fall into this pitfall as well, but like sometimes I will see those workouts where it's like, do this for 10 minutes a day or like just jump rope 500 times. And I don't know why my brain like hears things like that. And on the surface, it sounds like it's gonna be like so easy to do. And I'm like, why haven't I been doing this all along? Do y'all hear stuff like that and it sounds easy. Now maybe it is just because like when I was a kid, I was the number one jump rope for heart kid. You guys, I feel like I could jump rope like a thousand two hundred times a day. Um, granted, I was always the leading jump rope for heart kid because they did promise me a t-shirt. At the end of like jump so many times, you get a t-shirt. I swear nothing motivates me more in this life than a free t-shirt for doing a task. Just promise me a t-shirt and suddenly I can jump a thousand two hundred times in a row. I thought it was gonna be so easy. You guys, I tried it and I could not even make it to a hundred. Couldn't even make it to a hundred. I thought I was gonna melt onto the pavement and have to be spatula up like a pancake. And so I feel like I got very disgusted encouraged and I just put this in the back of our closet and didn't look at it since. And I really don't know what made me think about this jump rope the other day, but I am now three days in. And sometimes I really struggle with being consistent. I'm sure if you guys have been Swamp Fam for a long time, you know that. Like I always have these grandiose plans where I'm like, I'm gonna do something every single day. No, no, I'm not. Um, the fact that I've stuck with it for three days now in a row. I'm kind of patting myself on the back, even though that's like really nothing I should be proud of. Like anybody should probably be able to do anything for three days in a row or even 30. I think it's supposed to be 30 days in a row. No, it's a week. I don't, you guys, I don't know. I don't know. I'm now just making this challenge up in my head, but I feel like I'm probably like 10% healthier now than I was like two or three years ago. So once again, you guys thought about this jump rope and I was like, oh, you're going to be able to do it now. No, you guys, it was honestly kind of embarrassing. Like I was pretty embarrassed for myself on day one because I feel like I struggled to get to 20 and I definitely felt like I could not go past 80. 
but I took like a little breather as I was like checking the camera footage because I'm trying to like film and like document this journey. And so like as I was taking that breather, I kind of felt like I could go back and at least finish like the 20 for that day. And I did. And then I was like, I felt like kind of proud of myself, like, which is silly, but I feel like it's good to like, you know, it's good to not congratulate yourself, but it's like good to tell yourself like positive things. Like even if you're setting the bar like really low for yourself, I feel like it's a really kind of like powerful thing to be like, wow, I really felt like I couldn't do that thing. But then I pushed myself just a little bit harder and I was able to do that thing. So then when I went, yesterday I was actually able to do like more than a hundred I think I got to like a hundred and forty but I felt like it was a lot easier but then today for some reason I don't know why you guys like oh my gosh it was really hard again I think I got to 40 and then I had to do a break and then I think I did 30 I don't know I took another sippy sippy break Anyway, I just wanted to maybe like give you guys some encouragement, you know, like if you feel like you're attempting something and your first couple attempts like aren't going so well or you're not like at the level that you thought you would be, I know that it's really easy to get discouraged because like me, I gave up like almost immediately a couple years on jump roping, but now I feel like I want to stick with it. So if there's something out there, you guys, that y'all want to do and it's like really challenging and you feel like a little bit disappointed in yourself like might I just encourage you guys like let's take a second shot at it and I'm still definitely way behind like where I thought that I was because once again when I was a kid I was never really like into sports I wasn't like super like or maybe it's better to just say I wasn't into team sports because I did horseback riding I love to do fencing I did um dancing for a while so I guess it was all like being active, but I wasn't really like playing a sport, you know what I mean? And I really, really wish that I would have never stopped, like never stopped doing like at least a couple of those things. You guys, I so badly would love to get back into fencing. I feel like I would love that, but I feel like it's a really like, at least in our area, like maybe in other areas, like it's not as difficult to find a studio, but the closest place I feel like I found that was doing like fencing love fencing lessons was like all the way on the north side of Houston which is like an hour and 40 something minutes away from here so I don't know I'm trying to like imagine like maybe one day would I like have the time to like one day a week to do some fencing lessons I feel like that would be great. Maybe if I finish my jump rope <laughs> but yeah I think it's technically supposed to be um 500 jumps a day for a week but since I can only do a hundred maybe I should do it for a month and see if at the end of the month maybe I'll be able to do 500. Also you guys I probably should not be jump roping for my heart in Doc Martens. I've worn Doc Martens every day for my athletic activities. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I'm as obsessed right now with Doc Martens as I was with Lita's like Jeffrey Campbell Lita's. Oh my god. But like every day you guys I'm like what is my fun accessory of the day? Doc Martens. And this is my favorite pair you guys. I love these. The Hieronius Bosch um hell doc martens we had boxed these together a mere nine years ago this collection was so amazing they've done other fun collections but these are my favorites although right now i am on the quest to find my holy grail uh doc martin well my holy grail doc martin product would be the bag that matches these boots oh my gosh you guys that's like the one that got away <laughs> from like my fashion collection, my closet. I feel like I always wish I would have gotten the matching bag, the leather satchel that goes with these boots. I don't know what I was thinking, but my other holy grail that I'm on the search for is the Doc Martin Swarovski crystal boots. I'm on the quest. I'm like Indiana Jones or something. Um, but instead of a crystal skull, I'm looking for a crystal Doc Martin. But I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this foot phone case. 
This may be also my new favorite accessory. I do just love the absurd. You know what I mean? Like, and it's kind of like a built-in tripod because I feel like I was trying to film the inside of the jump rope box for some reason to like show you guys, but I just set the foot down and I was able to like show you guys one of my popples that lives in the closet. Do you guys remember popples? Probably, probably not. I feel like popples was kind of like the thing that never came back. You know, we got like My Little Pony like 20 times over. We got like Transformers. Do you hear a rumbling? I was like trying to remember what was the last thing I was gonna ask you guys. But let me know how y'all feel about this clip because I want to start doing shoe collection videos again. Like where I show you guys like my whole collection. Like before we did like my Halloween shoes, we did uh jeffrey campbell's i think a couple times maybe like my entire collection of disney irregular choice shoes but i've had a lot of people like since i've been talking about doc martens like every single day um i've had a lot of people ask like why not do a doc martens collection video so i've been trying to film like some sample clips before i like film the whole collection and think it looks like mm, doggy doo doo uh so let me know what you guys feel about this lighting like do you think it's too low because sometimes i feel like i put like too many little lamps on and then like the color just looks washed out um but i almost feel like this looks like not clear enough i don't know you guys let me know what y'all feel about this clip because i was thinking about doing it outside but i don't really feel like that's practical because it is still it still at least feels like 101 degrees at least every single day oh my gosh you guys i am waiting for the great pumpkin to sprinkle his magic pumpkin seeds and like give us some fall weather my gosh i mean it's not hard for me to like get into the halloween spirit because you know halloween 365 days a year um but i miss that like and some people know what i'm talking about when i say this and some people are like what are you talking about but like i swear around here and probably other places too but maybe it smells different to each person like depending on where you live there's like the smell of halloween like when the season starts to change and like i haven't experienced that this year because it is still just blazingly hot so um i don't feel like it would be a very good idea because i like filmed something outside the other day very briefly and i once again i thought i was gonna have a heat stroke like i filmed and then i felt bad for like the rest of the day and i feel like like the old areas where i used to film they're like a little bit more populated now so i feel like a lot of y'all always love my shoe collection videos because you can hear like the jumping and the footsteps and stuff so i feel like it would make more sense to film it inside i'm just trying to find like the best place also you guys 37 days until halloween i can't even believe seven days it's october anyway you guys we have no more lighting left but thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today and for watching if you're feeling discouraged right now don't be discouraged i feel like that's like a silly thing to say and some days i definitely know how hard it is but I don't know, I almost feel like this little fitness journey that I'm going on, even though it's very, very tiny, I feel like it has been like just a practice in sticking with something and like staying positive about it, even though I don't feel like I'm doing that well. I'm just like trying not to beat myself up about it. But anyway, you guys, uh, thank you all for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye! This is like a video now with bloopers. Do you guys remember when everybody did bloopers? Midnight Society core. I just have to know that there's somebody else out there that has to take a picture of like if they lit a candle and they're about to leave the house. You have to take a picture so that you have proof like in your camera roll, you know, that you blew out the candle, that you unplugged the hair straightener or like it will literally keep you up at night. I will like be in bed like really not wanting to get up and like look at the candle one more time. So I started like taking pictures of like the candle or the hair straightener unplugged and off. Let me know if you're like that in the comments down below. Okay, bye for real. Ah.